Hi, this is Vibhav Agarwal. I'm a student of class 12th in St. Francis's College leading PCM with computers and I'm here to talk about something that I've built over the past summer and without the help of Rancho Labs, a club from IIT Delhi, it wouldn't have been possible. So basically, in simple terms, it's a club which can convert any sign language in the world to any text that you want to. Of course, depending upon how you modify the code. Now, a further extended purpose of this glove is also for hospital patients and for hospital beds, where if a person does not have the ability to shout or to particularly say a phrase, the person can simply gesture a phrase and the intentioned message will easily be conveyed to the hospital staff. I have used five flex sensors, a simple Arduino Uno board, five 10 kilo ohm resistors, a breadboard, an I square C LCD display, and a simple LED light to turn the backlight on for the LCD display. Now for the wiring of the flex sensors, each of these are first connected to two portions of the breadboard. The positive terminal has been first connected with the help of a 10 kilo ohm resistor and then it has been connected to a signal pin on the Arduino Uno board. I have used four of them which are of the same type, however for the thumb I have used a more sensitive one so that it gives a more sensitive output. Now for each of these sensors, the basic functionality is that on bending like this and it gives a different resistance for each of the bend. Now for by calculating and by knowing the flat resistance and the bend resistance and the amount of resistance that it is giving at the particular point of time, the bend angle can be calculated. Now as soon as you turn on the device, it would show welcome to the device, it would first wait for 10 seconds for you to gesture or to make the symbol and then it would run 5 uh, tests and then for a particular combination of the resistance that has been given it would then give to you an output on the LCD display as you will see in the future. Uh, so now there are also a few limitations of the glove that I'd like to discuss. The first one being the absence of an accelerometer. Now the purpose of an accelerometer is to record the tilt or the posture in which a hand is placed. For example, this glove cannot record the difference between this and this, which is essentially the same except the tilt and the position and the altitude of the hand or the device that you're choosing. 
Now the second limitation of the glove is the sensitivity of the flex sensors. Now naturally due to the presence of lockdown and the COVID pandemic, I do not have the availability of the best and the most sensitive flex sensors. Now by what I mean by the sensitivity of flex sensors is the bend angle, is the precise bend angle that it can provide. All right. Thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate you taking the time out. And uh, if this video was of any use to you, I really appreciate the share. And uh, thank you so much.